in prior presentations, we've been focusing in on these detailed reports that give us the activity that has happened through a period. The classic one would be the general ledger that comes to most people's minds as the report that gives us all of the detail. That breaks out first by account, and then within each account, it gives us the activity within it by date. It's a similar report as we saw in a prior presentation to taking one of the accounts on the balance sheet and the income statement and drilling down on it, except that it has all of the accounts kind of listed in it. The great thing about software is that we can reorganize this similar data in different ways. So we can take that activity and for example, they have a report here, the transaction list by date, and then you got the transaction list with the splits. So instead of breaking out this information uh, by account and then date, we got it broken out here uh, by just date. We can look at all the transactions by date, which can be useful for multiple factors. And then we've got the transaction list with the splits. That gives us more detail. And then the journal report also similar to it. So let's do some comparing and contrasting with these three reports because they're similar in nature. I'm going to right click and open the journal report in a new tab. And I'm going to try to give a quick recap again of how this thing works. So let's say that I just have the activity for December, let's say. So I'm going to go from 120122 uh, to 123122 to 12, 12, 31, 2, 2. And so there we have it. And so there's the activity for the month of December broken out by date. Now, what that means from a financial standpoint, notice if I go to the balance sheet, and if I went up top, I'm going to do one of those comparative reports comparing uh, November and December. So I'm going to first set the range for December 120122 to 1231. And then I'm going to say prior period and look at the dollar change. Prior period dollar change. So now this is where we stand as of uh, the December. And this is where we stood as of November. The difference between the two is the activity. That's what has happened. Uh, during the time frame. So uh, if, for example, we were looking at the November activity here and we knew that what that was and we can verify what that was and then we wanted to check our numbers on the December, if we had th the difference is going to be in this transactions. All these transactions should be the difference. So if we have the starting point correct and then we were to verify all of these transactions uh, entered into the system, we would get to then, you know, this this ending point here uh, that's the general idea now that of course is useful as with the sim as with the prior reports uh to think about from a grading standpoint we'll use these kind of reports when we go through the practice problem because we can check where we started at then we're going to enter data into the practice problem and if your data is different than the data that we have you can look at these types of reports to see if if your activity matches and if it does it should it should tie out or we should be able to find in essence the difference looking at the activity it's also a great report if you're kind of uh, supervising someone else and you want to see how much act what they did right so you want to see how much activity they put into the system you can run a report uh, like this you can you can basically charge you know see how much time that it should take for charging that and you might use a report similar to this to bill like a client, for example, based on how many how many um, how many accounts were affected. So you might count like this line this time to look at the number of accounts that are affected, and you're going to set your billing range based on how many accounts were affected. So if you had 100 accounts affected, I charge you this much. If you had between 100 and 200, I charge you this month, and so on and so forth. So that's those are a couple ways that you can use this. It's also a quite practical report from just to learn the accounting because it gives you the debits and credits of each transaction.